Maddie Walton purchased her first home 12 months ago and she's already ditched her original lender. It is so crazy at the moment and still is. Um, I wanted to refinance because I knew that my property would have gone up in value. With that extra equity in her home, thanks to strong gains in the Queensland property market, the 24-year-old's left Bank West and signed up with Bank of Melbourne, which offered her a lower variable rate. I'm going to be saving around about $3,000 a year and then I also got a $4,000 refinance rebate on top of that. While Maddie has moved her mortgage away from the Commonwealth Bank, the nation's biggest lender increased its home lending by 7.4% last financial year. It says most of its customers are ahead on their repayments, but 22% are only just up to date. At the moment, two thirds are making more than the minimum repayments each month. But if the cash rate rises to 2.6% by the end of the year, CBA expects only a quarter of its customers will still be making extra repayments. That was too big, too small, too old. The bank expects house prices to fall by 15% and says customers are already cutting back on spending. Its boss thinks Australia will avoid a recession. Probably the best overall outcome will be a short, sharp contraction. In many other markets, US, UK, Europe, that path is not available. You know, some form of recession and multiple quarters of economic contraction are absolutely on the cards. The unusual thing about the statement of monetary policy this time... Like CBA, Baron Joey economists expect the cash rate to peak at around 2.6%. But the RBA are likely to sit and wait to see the effects of such a high cash rate, which we haven't seen since 2012, on the economy and how that flows through from households that are largely indebted. Baron Joey economists estimate that 10% of mortgages worth $250 billion have been given to customers either at or close to their borrowing capacity since 2020. They say they're the ones most likely to miss repayments if the Reserve Bank lifts the cash rate to 3%. So can't be so tight that we induce a recession in Australia, which would be much worse than the outcome of having inflation run a little bit hot. Another major bank, Westpac, has a very different view. Its chief economist argues the cash rate must hit 3.35% if the Reserve Bank's serious about getting inflation under control. If we don't provide the pain now, then it's likely that we'll see much stronger growth next year because inflation psychology has built in the economy and people accept higher prices and businesses are able to raise their prices further. Bill Evans says going too slow could result in a recession like Australia had in the 1990s. In the end, we had to push rates much too far and, in, and ending up with a much deeper recession than anyone was comfortable with. With a $640,000 mortgage to pay off on her own, Maddie Walton's prepared to cut back on spending to make her repayments. I'm going to be staying on a fully variable rate and I'm just going to ride the wave and make sure I have emergency funds in place and buffers. Bearing the brunt of slowing consumer prices.